Hey guys, Jim Sandrowski here. We're going to talk about uh, picking out the right goalie pads for ball hockey. So when you're picking out pads for ball hockey, what I do is I look at ice hockey equipment. Right now, there's a lot of ball hockey equipment that's starting to uh, uh, be produced in the market. Um, reason why Kineski, Passau, or some of the manufacturers that are um, starting to make ball hockey specific goalie gear and goalie pads. Um, I'm still not quite there yet with cost and also uh, the construction and the fit and feel of that material or of that uh, equipment yet. Uh, but it's coming around, it's getting better. Uh, so what I do is I look at ice hockey, uh, goalie gear to use for ball hockey. We'll talk about modifications in another video. But I look for mainly three things uh, when I'm looking at ice hockey goalie pads to use for ball hockey. So the very first thing I look for in an ice hockey uh, goalie pad is cost effectiveness. Um, I use um, the entry level ice hockey goalie gear. I picked up these Bauer GXs on GoalieMonkey.com. They are $299.99 on GoalieMonkey.com. They're still uh, selling those uh, as we speak today. Uh, the GXs are different than the GSX. Those will run you about $500. will be on other sites besides GoalieMonkey.com as well. But I like the minimal construction of these pads. We'll get into that in a second here. But cost effectiveness is the main thing I'm looking for when I'm looking for a ice hockey goalie pad to use for ball hockey. The second thing I look for in uh, a goalie pad to use for ball hockey, and the reason why I go more toward an ice hockey pad, is the performance of the foam and the, and the uh, construction of the actual pad. When the ball hits off of this foam that's made for a puck, it flies off of these, this pad and I can direct it right to the boards, right where I want it to go and away from harm, away from rebounds. If I'm in an awkward position even and I'm kicking it out, if it does go out into the middle, it's kicking it past uh, the uh, uh, other team that's coming in for that rebound. So really like the performance of an ice hockey goalie pad for ball hockey as well. Okay, the last thing I'm looking for when I'm looking for uh, pads to use for ball hockey is uh, the fit and feel of it. And so I picked out these Bauer GXs mainly because uh, versus the GSX, which is a little bit more expensive, uh, the GSX had a more uh, a little stiffer, thicker leg channel uh, pad where these ones were a lot thinner and a lot more flexible to fit over a tennis shoe versus a skate. And so really like that a lot better. The fit and feel of it is a lot um, is a lot easier to use, doesn't get in the way, doesn't obstruct sliding uh, on, uh, on deck surface. So uh, the other thing that I liked about these pads were the minimal strapping system. Obviously just one Velcro leg strap, uh, calf strap I should say, and one Velcro knee strap as well. So again, all of those are the reasons why I decided to use this particular pad, uh, and we'll get into the modifications in another video.